بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ہیو اور لیکچر نمبر ففٹین اینڈ چیپٹر از ڈفرینسیشن اینڈ ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک از اگین دا ڈیفینیشن آف دا ڈیفینیشن آف ڈیریویٹو اینڈ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی ول فینش اور ایکسرسائز ٹو پوائنٹ ٹو ناؤ لیٹ اسٹارٹ دا ایکسرسائز ناؤ فرسٹ I would like to solve the example that is on page number, page number 51. And this is the example. Find, uh, kind of open your books and see page number 51 of your book in which the example is given. I will read the example. Find from definition the differential coefficient of a x plus b whole power n with respect to x when n is a positive integer means we have to find the derivation of uh, uh, differential of this expression a x plus b whole power n with respect to x and here the power this n this power n is a n is a positive integer And uh, in my previous lecture, we have discussed the, uh, the finding differential by using definition method and the same method we are going to use here, the solution. What we were doing in, uh, the, what we have done in our previous uh, exercise, first we will suppose the first step is step one. Step one was we, we suppose y is equals to ax plus b. Any function which is given, we suppose that function is equals to y. And this is our equation number 1. Then in step 2, we take increment in our function uh, y. Instead of y, we, we write y plus del y. A small increment in y as well as small increment of corresponding values of x. A, then x plus del x plus b just we increase we bring this increase in x the other terms are remain same now y plus del y is equals to this and this uh, will become our equation number two now what we will do we simply uh, my uh, subtract subtract equation sorry this is your equation number two subtract equation 2 from 1 you can see all the steps are same as we have done in our previous lecture subtract equation 2 from 1 and then what we get y y plus del y minus y is equals to a x plus b plus a del x whole power n minus a x plus b whole power n. We simplified this. We can write this equation like a x plus a del x plus b whole power n and if we simplify it further then we can write this a x plus b this will become our first term and our second term is a del x and the power remains same so this is the simplification of our this term so we we uh, i have written this term over here a x plus b plus a del x whole power n minus this is our first equation now this y and this y are cancelled with each other and we get del y is equals to a x plus b plus a del x whole power n minus a x plus b whole power n now as you have done in your first year the binomial theorem and the binomial theorem we have we have discussed this binomial theorem in our previous exercise also so here we apply our binomial theorem by applying 
बायनोमियल थ्योरम बायनोमियल थ्योरम सो व्हाट हैपेंड व्हेन वी अप्लाई द बायनोमियल थ्योरम डेल वाई इज इक्वल्स टू नाउ द फर्स्ट टर्म फर्स्ट वी जस्ट अप्लाई बायनोमियल थ्योरम ओवर दिस पार्ट नाउ ए एक्स plus b whole power n and the second term will take the power 0 so no need to write the second term now plus nc uh, sorry not nc0 nc1 nc1 then ax plus b n minus 1 n and the smaller value than n is n minus 1 and the second term that is a del x will take value 1 here the value of a del x is 0 and in second term it gain the value 1 plus n c 2 and then a x plus b here we have n minus 1 and then n minus 2 and its value decreases the, this is the first term its value will decrease term by term and it, the second uh, this is the second term and its value increase by uh, term by term so a del x here we have its value 1 and here it will take value 2 plus up to so on and this is the, the finally we write this la last term that is minus a x plus b whole power n we just applied binomial theorem on or this term so from the uh, from this term this is the first term and here up to so on and minus ax plus b is the uh, this one term okay now <clears throat> now if we take uh, this term uh, is cancelled with this term and simply we have n1 a x plus b n minus 1 a del x plus n c 2 a x plus b n minus 2 a square del x square plus up to so on and here you can write the last term Uh, sorry this is the binomial theorem so i missed the last term here we have del uh, sorry a del x power n here i will write a del x whole power n right and the first term this this is the first term it will take power 0 the smallest power of this first term so no need to write this term so here just we have a del x power n okay so here we uh, i will also write a n power del x n okay now now we have to simplify this equation so how we can simplify this equation we solve the this binomial like if i take del a del x is common in all term so i will take a del x as a common from all terms so in first term what we get and so when we solve nc1 when we solve this term we just we simply get n and the remaining part is ax plus b whole power n minus 1 a del x we have taken as a common over here plus now nc2 write nc2 as it is and then ax plus b whole power n minus 2 and from this part it will be uh, Uh, as i we have taken this term as a common so just a del x will uh, we, we have just a del x over here and the one term is taken as a common over there now plus up to so on and then from last term when a del x we take as a common the remaining term will become equals to n minus 1 the whole power is n and when we take one term from this from this term the remaining term will become equals to n minus 1 times okay now we close the bracket now now what will be the 
third step. In third step, we here we have del x, we divide del y on, uh, sorry, this is del y. So what we do in our third step, we divide, we divide del x on both sides. So divide this del x on both sides. Now del y divided by del y divided by del x is equals to a del x and n a x plus b n minus 1 plus n 2 then a x plus b n minus 2 a del x plus 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 a del x whole power n minus n and when we divide del x this a del x and this del x are cancelled with each other and here we have del y divided by del x is equals to this whole term now the last step the in last step what we will do we take a limit on both side uh, we write here limit del x approaches to 0 del y divided by del x is equals to limit del x approaches to 0 a n into a x plus b power n minus 1 plus n c 2 a x plus b n minus 2 a del x plus 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 up to a del x power n minus 2 the beauty of this binomial theorem which we have applied here is that when we apply the limit except this first term the all other terms will become equals to 0 because uh, just in this first term all terms have this this del x in multiplication of other terms so when we multiply when we apply the limit del x approaches to 0 in uh, except this first term the all terms will become equals to 0 so apply the limit and we get a n a x plus b n minus 1 and all other terms becomes equals to 0 because in instead of del x when we apply 0 all terms become equals to 0 so this is the end uh, this whole part is limit del x approaches to 0 del y by del x is equals to dy by dx now we have dy by dx is equals to a multiplied by n into a x plus b whole power n minus 1 now this is the solution of your first uh, example now example 2 that is on page number 52 example number 2 example example 2 page number page 52 in this example we have uh, we have to find the derivative like we have y is uh, sorry uh, let me okay this one and this thing okay now in example 2 what we have the function y is equals to 1 by a x plus b whole power n and we have to find this its derivative with respect to x and here we have n is also n is a positive integer okay now what we will do in this case as we have y is equal to 1 by del x so uh, we start its uh, solution step 1 is y is equal to 1 by a x plus b whole power n now step 2 what we uh, we do we take an increment in y as well as in uh, in x y plus del y is equals to 1 by a x plus del x plus b whole power this n okay and this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 now the third step is uh, not the third step but uh, as um, normally what we will do we just subtract subtract equation 2 
from 1. So what happened? Y plus del Y minus Y is equals to uh, 1 by 1 by A X plus del X plus B whole power N minus 1 by a x plus b whole power n and if we write this uh, this term like a x plus a del x plus b whole power minus n minus a x plus b whole power minus n and if we simplify it further what we have a x plus b this will become our first term and a del x is our second term so minus n minus a x plus b or power is minus n and here y is cancelled with y and we get del y okay now we apply the binomial theorem okay now we apply the binomial theorem and uh, using binomial theorem, using binomial theorem, binomial theorem, uh, del y is equals to a x plus b minus n. If we, uh, before applying binomial theorem, here we are not uh, applying binomial theorem uh, at the moment just we are simplifying this term uh, if we take a x plus b power minus n as a common the uh, remaining term will become 1 plus a del x divided by a x plus b whole power n and minus a x the second term is same a x plus b power minus n and when we take whole a x plus b minus n common then uh, then what happened uh, when we take this uh, what happened 1 my plus a del x divided by a x plus b power minus n this is minus n minus 1 sorry okay this term will become now we apply this binomial theorem apply here now we apply here binomial theorem this is del y del y is equal to this now we are applying binomial theorem so when we apply the binomial theorem the first term is a x plus b whole power minus n we apply binomial theorem over here so 1 plus minus n a del x divided by a x plus b plus minus n minus n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial a del x divided by a x plus b whole square plus up to minus 1 and again when uh, we simplify it more a x plus b whole power minus n this plus 1 and minus 1 are cancelled with each other and simply we have what this minus n and a del x divided by a x plus b is common in all uh, in all terms so if we take minus n minus n into a del x divided by a x plus b as a common then what is what we have in our remaining terms we have 1 plus 
minus n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial minus 1 we have taken as a common over here so here we have a del x a x plus b here we have power 2 1 uh, it will become 1 because we have taken one term as a common before this expression now plus up to so on okay now uh, the third step third step in which we have step 3 in which we have divide both equations both sides by uh, del uh, del x so do your third step del y by del x is equals to ax plus b whole power minus n minus n a divided by ax plus b i cancel this del x with this uh, del x which i have divided this equation and the remaining part is 1 plus minus n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial a del x divided by a x plus b now you know what is the last step in our la last step we just apply in our last step we just apply the limit step step 4 apply limit okay now when we apply limit del x approaches to 0 del y by del x is equals to limit del x approaches to 0 this whole term okay this whole term and you can see uh, in all terms uh, we have del x so all all terms become equals to 0 except the first one so uh, finally we have uh, limit uh, when we apply the limit we have minus n a a x plus b minus n minus n divided by a x plus b and inside the bracket we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 up to so on and if we simplify this expression further we have uh, this whole part will become dy by dx is equals to minus n a a x plus b minus n minus 1 we take this over here so minus 1 uh, minus n uh, minus 1 so this is the result or you can write it also minus n a divided by a x plus b power n plus 1 so this is the answer of your this uh, example now we uh, discuss some rules of uh, derivation uh, we start our exercise first this is our exercise 2.2 now exercise exercise 2.2 in exercise 2.2 the uh, here we have just one question and uh, we have five parts it's a very small exercise the question is find from first principle the derivative of the following expression with respect to their res uh, with respect to their respective independent variable okay now the first part is the first part of our uh, exercise is uh, ax plus sorry ax plus b whole power 3 and you know very well when we start the solution you know very well the four main steps the first step is y is equals to ax plus b whole power 3 and this is our equation number one step one this is all your step one now step two 
what we do in our step 2 we take an increment or y as well as in x y plus del y is equals to a x plus del x plus b whole power 3 now this uh, this step 2 is your equation number 2 and the same step what we do we subtract subtract equation 2 from 1 so y plus delta y minus y is equals to a x plus del x plus b whole power cube minus a x plus b whole power cube and this y is cancelled with this y you can see the all all steps are the same steps there is no difference in any step any calculation just you have take care of one thing then whenever you are going to apply binomial theorem for positive integer or for negative integer you have to follow the specific rules if you apply the specific rules accurately I think these questions are very simple for you so del y is equals to now again here we have this you can take first you can decide first and second term for the convenience of our calculation so so we have, we take a x plus b is our first term and a del x is our second term power is same and the second term is also same okay now now you can apply the third formula this third formula is basically also apply according to binomial theorem but we are we know the third theorem uh, the third um, uh, uh, sorry the formula for cubic uh, power so we we have no need to think about the binomial theorem actually we are applying binomial theorem but here if you uh, have some confusion so no no need to think about binomial theorem just apply this cubic uh, formula so what is the cubic formula a x plus b whole power cube cube of first term then cube of second term a del x whole power cube then 3 a x plus b first term second term and then addition of these both terms Mm -hmm. and this is the solution of our this first and the, this last term is say minus ax plus b whole power cube now <clears throat> simplify your equation this and this terms are cancelled and finally we have a del x whole power cube minus 3 a x plus b a del x into a x plus b plus a del x and if we take some term as a common so we can take a del x as a common a del x and the remaining terms are a del x power 2 minus 3 a x plus b then a x plus b plus a del x okay now you can divide uh, the third step this is the uh, final simplification of your second step now you can apply the third step step 3 step 3 in which you divide both sides by del x so del y divided by del x is equals to when we divide here del x this del x is cancelled with or divided uh, dividing del x so a into uh, here we have a del x power square minus 3 a x plus b then a x plus b plus a del x and the last step step 4 when uh, you uh, apply limit apply a limit so limit del x approaches to 0 um, uh, delta y by delta x is equals to limit del x approaches to 0 a into 
a del x square minus 3 a x plus b a x plus b plus a delta x now you just apply the limit on your uh, expression so when you apply the limit what you get when you apply the limit this is a the first term is become 0 minus 3 a x plus b a x plus b plus 0 right and uh, when you simplify your equation you have uh, here we have plus sign why we are using this minus sign let me check this uh, why i have used this minus sign continuously oh sorry this is our plus sign this is our plus sign plus plus okay sorry it's my mistake i have used this minus sign actually it's a plus sign okay plus then plus then plus and when we simplify the last step what we have 3 a a x plus b then a x plus b and uh, when we it simplify it further a x plus b whole square and this is the answer of our question so in your first question uh, the first three parts are the same one i would like to solve the fourth part for you of this exercise okay fourth part the fourth part is 1 divided by a x plus b whole square okay now uh, you know step 1 y is equals to 1 by a x plus b whole square the expression which is your given in your question now step 2 y plus delta y y a x plus delta x plus b whole square and then what we do we just uh, give the name of these equations 1 and 2 and we subtract subtract equation 2 from 1 so we get delta y is equals to uh, delta y is equals to 1 by a x a x plus delta x plus b whole power minus 2 minus a x plus b whole power minus 2 and uh, again when we apply the binomial expression we have a x plus b as a common a x plus b we take it as a common Achha, sorry uh, i have done one mistake more in our question here we have this power equals to five five uh, five okay and then again here we when we take this power minus five what we have 1 plus a delta x a x plus b minus 5 and the value of y is becomes the same again you can see the all the steps are same there is no difference in any step all the examples all the questions are the same one then a x plus b whole power minus 5 and 1 plus a delta x divided by a x plus b whole power minus 5 minus 1 okay now we can apply binomial theorem by normal theorem binomial theorem when we apply so 
what happened when we apply the binomial theorem? Now by applying binomial theorem, we have del y is equals to ax plus b power 5 1 plus minus 5 a del x by a x plus b plus minus 5 into minus 5 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into a delta x divided by a x plus b whole square plus up to minus 1. This is the expansion of binomial theorem for negative power for negative integer. Now here we cancel this term with this plus 1 is cancelled with minus 1. And now if we simplify it further, we have ax plus b whole power minus 5. Then minus 5 a del x divided by ax plus b plus minus 5 minus 6 divided by 2 factorial a del x by ax plus b whole square plus up to so on and again if we uh, the step 3 is what is the step 3 what we do in step 3 we just divide delta x on both sides so here we have delta y by delta x is equals to a x plus b whole power minus 5 divided by delta x then minus 5 a delta x divided by a x plus b plus minus 5 and minus 6 plus 30 divided by 2 factorial means 2 and then a delta x divided by a x plus b whole square plus up to so on. Now if we take delta x as uh, uh, not only delta x but a multiplied by delta x divided by a x plus b as a common from this uh, from this uh, terms which are inside the bracket. So what we can take uh, common we can take <coughs> minus 5 or uh, if we Okay, simply we just take common ax minus, this is the same term, divided by delta x. Now see which terms you can take as a common. Delta x is here and here means you can take delta x as a common uh, term. Then a and a. Okay, now a delta x divided by ax plus b. Then minus 5 is left for, uh, for here in your first term. Then 30 divided by 2 means 5. 15 and uh, the remaining part is a into delta x divided by a x plus b whole square plus up to so on. Now this delta x and delta x are cancelled out cancel and this uh, if we uh, a x plus b minus 5 and this term is also we add we take we take this term uh, over here so it will become minus 5 and minus 1 and into a and uh, then the remaining terms are the same uh, sorry, here we have 1 in its power because we have taken one term as a common over here. So a delta x divided by a x plus b plus up to so on. Now you can apply the third part of or um, third step, uh, last step of or uh, procedure plus b minus 6 a into minus 5 plus 
15 a delta x divided by a x plus b plus up to so on <laughs> sorry this bracket is very okay now this is the correct form now you can apply the fourth step step number four in this step num in this step you apply you take limit delta x approaches to zero on both sides so when you take this limit on both side what will happen here you have uh, delta y by delta x so when you take limit delta x approaches to zero delta y by delta x is equals to limit delta x approaches to zero a x plus b minus six a minus five plus fifteen a delta x divided by a x plus b plus up to so on this is the co constant part as far as uh, when we take limit delta x approaches to zero because here we don't have any delta x so the other uh, we take it a x plus b whole power minus six into a and when we apply this limit over here so minus five plus zero plus up to so on this will be uh, the equation when we apply the limit on this whole equation now the finally we have minus 5 a x plus b power minus 6 a or you may write it minus 5 a divided by a x plus b whole power 6 and uh, as you know this whole part this left side uh, you can write it now del dy by dx means the change of y with respect to x the change of dependent variable with respect to this independent variable so this is the end of our today's uh, exercise uh, that is 2.2 and end of our lecture and uh, beta if you have any problem any uh, confusion you can contact me on my whatsapp number so thank you very much.